Asia Down Under today, a dojo in the bush, helping hands in desperate times, and New Zealand's latest feature film. Hi and welcome to Asia Down Under and a very special greeting to the Filipino community on their Independence Day. While in the Philippines there may be a very small dairy industry, back here in the world's dairy capital, the community are making a name for themselves. Glenna has that story. <laughs> this may seem like a small gathering of Filipinos in Auckland. Actually, this is pretty much the entire Filipino community in the West Coast. It's not a big group, but one can't really tell from all the noise. If, if people are busy, you know, they, they tend to forget about their stress, their problems. So I make sure that the Filipino community is an avenue for all these people to, to uh, as an avenue to share their feelings, share their uh, wins and losses in life. You know, one thing that I really make sure is that people are busy. Here in Hokitika, the green, serene surroundings disguise a very busy day for dairy farmers Elmer Panganiban and Michael de la Cruz. The two are recent migrants and work here at Sheridan Farms in Upper Kokotahi. Well, before I came here, I worked also in a farm. Yeah, in, uh, in the Philippines at Nueva Ecija. I worked at VB Farm at uh, uh, more than four years, four years and four months. It's, it's not a big farm, but no, no machine like this in the New Zealand. Just only a manual. Mm, just you can strip and strip this, the, the teeth. Michael, on the other hand, ran his own small businesses back home, but none related to the dairy industry. Terry Sheridan had to struggle with immigration to be able to employ him. Michael had no farming experience, uh, and immigration felt that he wasn't the right person to be bringing to a farming job. But from my point of view, uh, it's worked out very good because I was able to teach him the way I wanted things done. So he had no bad habits when he arrived. He most probably had them when he leaves. My boss supported me. He fought for me with immigration. And by the grace of God, we got it. And just as Terry was willing to support them fully, Michael and Elmer were more than willing to reciprocate. Uh, when given a job, uh, if they don't get it done, um, you don't have to tell them to go back to it the next day. You're looking for them, they're back doing that job, getting it finished. Today, Michael is joined on the farm by his son, Christopher, but it wasn't always like this. Like most overseas workers, he had to leave his wife and son behind until he could afford to send for them. Oh, it was difficult. I had to manage the business he left by myself. Of course I missed him, because I was left on my own. <laughs> but when they finally got here, Remy discovered there was so much to adjust to. I always worry about him when he leaves in the morning, because the weather here is different. It's cold, usually rains hard, and he has to be up by 4 o'clock. I really felt sorry for him. But all this is for their son's education and future. As husband and wife, we really work hard and do our best to prepare for his future. If anything happens to us, we will have savings we can use. As the sun sets on Hokitika, Elmer looks back at the tougher times he endured to get his family here, being forced to work on two farms and getting by on less than the wages of one farmer. But that's all in the past. Now he's got his wife to take care of him. It's good now. When my wife uh, arrived here in New Zealand, of course, there's uh, now uh, in the morning, even uh, in the lunchtime, uh, breakfast or dinner, my, my food prepared at the table, you know. Uh, that's why you see, I'm, you see now the evidence. Uh, for Filipino migrants, nothing can take the place of family. 
But in very rural settings, it's sometimes not enough to battle feelings of isolation. Well, there's a, a great deal of support out there for them, um, which I think helps, you know, and obviously missing family and missing friends and home is, is always hard for any culture, but um, yeah, we, we try to do what we can and, and make sure they become a part of the West Coast and, and that they're part of the community, and I think we're, we're getting there. <laughs> And that's why these gatherings, no matter how small, hold a big place in these Filipinos' hearts. Tomorrow will be another day at the farm, but tonight it's all about belonging and being back home. Mm -hmm.